This is the Tide 75, a full aluminum 75% keyboard from Apple Maker. Let's check out what it has to offer. Starting with the unboxing, we'll see the keyboard covered in plastic, then the manual and Allen key. In this box are some accessories, the keycap and switch puller, and a Type-C cable. The Tide 75 is a full aluminum keyboard with a gold accent ring around the top piece and the knob on the right side that has a silver ring to it. It also has a mirror PVD back piece. It has tri-mode connectivity and paired with a 4000mAh battery. It also supports QMK and VIA. It supports 3 and 5 pin switches and also hot swappable with south facing LEDs. Minus the Apple Maker lemon switches. It has this all black design double shot PBT keycaps, in OM profile, and the side printed keycap version. The Tide 75 has an FR4 plate which has the benefits of both an ALU and PC plate. It also has a lot of foams that help dampen sound and help with pinging. This costs around $140, it has 4 colors to choose from, and you can opt for a side print or the normal print keycaps. And you can choose up to 2 types of switches. Let's hear the sound test. This sounds so good out of the box. The sound profile tends more towards the clackier side, but if you want a more thuckier sound profile, you can try removing the PET sheet and swapping to thicker keycap. The linear switches have a creamy sound which is satisfying to listen to and overall pleasant to type on since they're smooth out of the box. But the lemon switches are too light for me with a 40 grams actuation force. The aluminum case gives it some heft and makes the overall keyboard feel premium. The RGB is quite bright and makes it pop. The keycaps are really the downside of this board. It's okay but it feels cheap and I'm not really a fan of OM Profile 2. It just cheapens the whole experience. The keycaps are too thin and I don't really like the font they use since it looks too gamery while the whole keyboard feels classy and premium being paired with these keycaps just looks cheap. I guess you can easily change that to something better so it's not really a deal breaker. But overall this is a great keyboard for beginners who want to venture into the keyboard scene. This has a lot to offer and if you're planning on upgrading the switches or keycaps down the line, this is a great path to choose. A full aluminum construction case with tri-mod connectivity and hot swap capability, you can't really look more for a keyboard. Let me know what you think.